Hi, my name's Mad Jack. I'm from Science Boffins. I'm going to give you a few tips how to make some really cool and interesting things with things you might find in your home. Right, now I'm going to show you how to make plasticine. Uh, for today's purposes, I'm going to do glue, but overall this would show you the basic way to make plasticine at home. So the first thing we need uh, is on our table here, we've got our blue wax crayon. As I said, this is just for the purposes of making it more interesting, it's a bit more colourful for now. Uh, but the most important two ingredients we have are the neutral coloured shoe polish. Make sure it is neutral, obviously if you use brown or black you're going to end up with black uh, plasticine. And our petroleum jelly, I've just used cheap, any old rubbish. Uh, and that's all we need to use. So first of all we need to get our wax crayon, break it into smaller parts. in our bowl, then we're going to just take a teaspoonful for now of our neutral shoe polish and then we're going to apply that to some heat. Now you can't heat this directly, this needs to be done over boiling water. So you'll have boiling water and you'll put the bowl in it and we'll be using the spoon to mix it around until it's melted. Then later, once we've got to the melted stage, we'll be adding our petroleum jelly. Right, so now we're going to be finishing off the preparation of our plasticine. As I said before, this is a kind of generic one, but we are using blue in this case. We've got the wax crayon and the shoe polish in there. We're adding it to a boiling saucepan of hot water. And we just start to mix that around. Right, so we've been heating the wax mixture up here. You can see it's almost completely liquid. So now we can add some of our petroleum jelly. This is a bit of trial and error. I'm gonna use about that much for this much of our plasticine. And this will mix in really quite quickly now that it's all hot. This is gonna to help to Make sure you've got a nice, malleable mixture. Again, if you don't want any colour at all, you forget the blue wax. And what I quite like, just to make sure it isn't too waxy, is I like to add a little bit of flour. That much will do for the amount we have in here. But again, trial and error, however you prefer it. We can mix that all in. As you can see, all the lumps have disappeared. Doesn't matter about sieving it. So once that's done, you can turn off the heat and just put the bowl straight into the fridge for about half an hour. Right, so we've allowed our wax mixture to cool down. Uh, and so this is what it looks like now. It's gone quite solid. Uh, so all we need to do now, just scoop it out. Now, because it has been in the fridge, it's colder than you would normally use, but all we need to do now is just to get it, warm it up a bit in our hands. And here we are. Some lovely make at home plasticine. Now, if you are finding it's a little bit too greasy, you can add a little bit more flour, simply put it in the microwave for a few seconds, 20 or so seconds. The wax will melt again. You can add more flour, and then you'll end up with a more solid plasticine. So there we go. That's how to make plasticine.